Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Man, what y'all messing with me for, man? I ain't did shit. Your seatbelt wasn't on. License and registration, please. Man, y'all don't care if I live or I die. So miss me with that seatbelt shit. Oh, undercover cop. Why you harassing a nigga? All right, then tell you what, get out the car so I can harass a nigga. Because obviously you have no respect for the law. Yo, I ain't afraid of y'all. I ain't done nothing. Well, then you don't have anything to worry about, then, do you? Officer Ray, watch this clown while I go run his license. How many white boys shot and pulled over this week? Man, it's motherfuckers like you that like to start shit, but can't finish it. Your best bet, stand there, shut the fuck up. Black cop trying to show off you motherfuckers. Y'all ain't shit without your badges anyway. You want a bet, motherfucker? What, you his bitch? Motherfucker. What? Yo, what the fuck? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? He was on arm. He's a strong motherfucker, though. Oh, man. I warned her about this stuff, man. I warned her. I knew they was gonna come after her, man. Damn! Look, whatever the plan is, I'm in. Look, man, I hate this happening to the door. Is there anything I can do to help? You gotta get the hell out. Man, why the hell you got a problem with me? Man, we were dealing with a real live killer out here, man. You want that action too? Thought so, nigga. Let's watch all that shit. Harry, all they want is the money. Let's just give it to them. You got it? I feel you, Sean, man, but I, I honestly don't think they'd give her up, man. And I honestly believe it's the person, man. Man, look, whatever we're gonna do, we need to do it quick. I want this Joe Bryce so bad, I feel his presence. Sweets, you ready to die? I ain't riding with scared. You ain't never heard of me being scared of shit. Hey, 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 man, listen, man. They got my goddamn wife, man. Damn. You now, it's obvious, man. It's obvious that this dude ain't working alone. So whatever it is we're going to do, man, we got to come up with a plan and we got to be smart about it. Shit. Dude, mess around and kill my baby, man. I'm glad the cops killed him. Just keep moving in life. You don't know the things he's done to me, Mom. No. Oh, I know. Look at me. All of that is no more. Do you hear me? Why do I have to pretend like it never happened? You don't. But there is so much to gain in life. You can't let somebody else's evil limit you from those things. I love you, Mom. Child, you have no idea how much I love you. You said you stepped down as pastor so you could correct some things and be more effective in ministry. Yeah, but that doesn't include me creating a war against the law, right? I'm just trying to figure out if you a real nigga or a goon, man. Oh, no, sir. I'm neither one. And you shouldn't be proud to refer to yourself as a nigga. After all my ancestors been through? 
Your ancestors never referred to themselves as real niggas. They were real people that fought hard in life to be recognized as that. Look, man, I have gotten many awards for my actions in the community. And you will not discredit that. I don't have to. As long as you're walking around boasting and bragging about these awards that haven't done anything for the people in this community. Okay, look, fuck you, dude. Find you another black mom. You know what? You got to find this ass whooping. Man, I'm trying not to cuss. Look, unarmed black man shot and killed by a racist white boy, and you do nothing. Niggas like me organize some action to make sure it doesn't happen again. Two months, 16 young men, before they reached the age of 30, were gunned down in our streets, and you've done nothing but sit on these news stations and run your mouth. Oh, now you want to be a big guy. Put innocent black men on the front line to stand against cops? Do it. If that's what makes you a real nigga, I will never be one. You either with us or you against us, dude. Let me make myself more clear, Randall. Until you understand how to honor the man that fed your family when you couldn't. Okay. Then you talk to me about leadership. But until then, okay. the doors of the church are open. What's up, man? You looking for Reverend Joe? I know you ain't gonna pull out no gun on me, man. I don't even know you, bro. Hey, ain't you Trent? Look, man, if you having some problems, bro, I can talk to you. I do a lot in this community. You know, I got an office over in this building. We can sit down, we can talk about some things. If you going through some problems, man, you know, you ain't gotta go that route. Two are the sickest people I ever met. Hmm. Well, you joined the family when you married my son. I can't believe you would do something like this for some money. Money? You think this is a money situation? I mean, it plays a part, but it's deeper than the money. And I'm gonna hate to see the look on my husband's face when he sees who's helping this nut. Well, that nut is my husband, and I got to stand by him no matter what. Eric should have thought about love before he decided to share his fortune with you. What are you saying? Oh, a cat fight. You know, you're kind of pretty, Miss Dora. And I'm taking. I don't give a damn. He ain't my son. Are you on drugs? You let this man control you like this? Hell yeah. Cause nobody don't want you if you dead. You see, I'm the one to be worshipped. I was my mother's only child. I remember when she used to hold me and tell me how much she loved me. Eric loved his grandmother. That bitch gave him everything he ever asked for. And the only reason why she treated me special is because I gave her a son who wanted something out of life. Like I didn't have dreams. What was your dream, Miss Rachel? Rachel. It doesn't matter now, because every dream I ever have and ever thought of, she shot it down. And she left her most prized possession to Eric. A diamond ring. Slut, where's my ring? All right, enough with the emotional bullshit. Miss Dora, that's something I must tell you before I kill you. And unlike Rachel, I have no feelings. So we can have a list of the fun. You know what? After all this time, I bet that shadow character will number you two devils. Oh no, Miss Smart Lady. I think you know who Shadow is. I mean, he used to sleep in your bed until he ran out to do his dirty work. <laughs> Eric came back to see his mother and check on Trent and save his life. <laughs> you believe that? I know that. And you know Eric ain't never sold a drug or killed anybody. All that might be true. But my plan is already in effect, and Trent gonna kill all you bitches. 
Eric knows who all his siblings are, and he's not going to let you take anything else from him. He, he has no choice, because Trent is about to erupt and everybody's leaving. And I want Eric to come watch you die. You are sick. <laughs> I might be. Y'all know I appreciate y'all being here by my side, man. I've been trying to be cool all week. I just gotta figure out an approach. I can't figure it out right now. They're not gonna hurt Dora. Hey, they want something from you. Hold on, wait a minute. Who is they? Mom is not dead. What? Hold on. And you know this how? Hey, Rev, Rev. Think about this. When I was talking to Officer Tro. He said there was no death certificate. Mm -hmm. There was no body found in the fire the night of her death. And think about this. The one man who we know, who we know, has been able to control her her whole life, is on the loose, and he wants me. Think about that, man. God, this is unreal. It is unreal. Very unreal. It's going to get realer. I'm going to mess around and do something I don't want to do, man. Eric. I'll see you later. We can figure out how to get Dora back together. I gotta learn, okay? Alright, sis. Officer Trout! Eric? Oh, you know what? This is all starting to make sense now. What? Your office has been harassing me. Yet yeah, your office is the ones that, that kill Vic unarmed. Whoa, whoa, Rev, come on, now respect the power. No, no, no. Randall was trying to start a movement, Eric. To see that these fools not only lose their job, but go to prison for life or die, okay? And oh. now, they believe that I was going to help him with this movement, so they killed him in order to frame me. Officer Trump? You want me to shut your ass up? Okay? Now what happened to Vic was an accident because Vic was a hothead. Okay? Now based on, and based on my investigation, after Randall left your office, you left. That's right, you left. Right. Now, somebody fucked up Randall because he's a potential witness on what somebody was coming to do to you. I want to come after you.